let's review the two parts of the alphabet. We learned that the alphabet has 26 letters. Some of these letters are called vowels and others are called consonants. I'm going to show you two pictures. When I show you a picture, I want you to shout out vowels or consonants. Ready? Go ahead. Are these vowels or consonants? Consonants. How about these? Vowels. Good. Let's review what we've learned about letters. Letters have a name and a sound. Here are our guide word pictures. When I point to a picture, I will say the guide word and it will be your job to peel off the beginning sound just like we did it in our game, peel that sound. Let's get started. What is the beginning sound in apple? Ah. Uh, when we see each letter, let's say the name of the letter together. If you don't remember the name of the letter, that's okay. We will practice the names together. This is the letter A. It says ah, like apple. It is a vowel, so it's red. What is the beginning sound in bear? B. This is the letter B. Good. Make sure you're saying it for me. B says B like B bear. What is the first sound in cat? K. Good. This is the letter C. C says K like in K cat. This is a consonant, so it is black. Same with the letter B. What is the first sound in duck? D. Good. And what letter says D? D. Good. This is the letter D. It says D, like in D, duck. It is a consonant, so it is black. First sound in edge. Uh, what letter? E. Good. This is the letter E. E says E, eh, like edge. And it is a vowel, so it's red. First sound in fish. F. Good. What letter? F. Good. F is a consonant, so it is black. First sound in goat. G. Good. What letter? G. G is a consonant, so it is black. What is the first sound in hammer? What letter? H. H is a consonant, so it is black. What's the first sound in itch? I. What letter? I. I is a vowel, so it is red. I. What is the first sound in jump? J. What letter? J. J is a consonant, so it is a black tile. First sound in key? K. What letter? K. K is a consonant, so it is black. First sound in lion? O. What letter? L. It is a consonant, so it is black. First sound in monkey? M. What letter? M. M is a consonant, so it is black. First sound in nest. N. What letter? N. First sound in octopus. Ah. Uh, what letter? O. First sound in popcorn. P. What letter? P. Good. Oh, I forgot to mention O over here is a vowel, so it is red. P is a consonant, so it is black. 
What is the first sound in queen? Qu. What letters? Q-U. Q-U work together to make the sound qu. Since the U is working with the Q, the U is not considered a vowel like it is when it's on its own and says uh. Since it's with the Q and it's saying qu, it is a consonant, so it is black. What is the first sound in rabbit? R. What letter? R. R is a consonant, so it is black. First sound in soap? S. What letter? S. It is a consonant, so it is black. First sound in toothpaste? What letter? T. T is a consonant, so it is black. What is the first sound in a? Uh, what letter? U. U is a vowel, so it is red. First sound in violin? V. What letter? V. V is a consonant, it is black. First sound in wave? W. What letter? W. W is a consonant, so it is black. What is the last sound in mix? X. Good. What letter? X. X is a consonant, so it is black. What is the first sound in yes? Y. What letter? Y. Y is a consonant, so it is black. What is the first sound in zipper? Z. What letter? Z. Z is a consonant, so it is black. Good. Now, let's look at this poster. We shared this the other day. This is to help us remember the different short vowel sounds. These are the vowel sounds that we've learned so far. These are all our short vowel sounds. So remember the short, the short A vowel sound is ah, like in the first sound an apple. We pretend to hold an apple in our hand and we move it across our body while we say the sound. Now you make the motion with me and say the sound. Ah. Good, that is our short A sound. Remember, short E vowel sound is a, like the first sound in edge. We trace our finger along the edge of a desk or a table while we say the sound a. Now I want you to make the motion with me and say the sound a. Good. Remember, the short I vowel sound is it, it, like the first sound in itch. We pretend to scratch the itch on the inside of our arm while we say the sound. Now you try it with me. It. The short O vowel sound is ah, like in the first sound in octopus. We pretend our hand is an octopus. Hold your hand up high with your fingers dangling down like octopus arms and wiggle your fingers, moving your hand from left to right as you say the sound. Ah, uh, try this with me. Ah. Uh, our short U vowel sound is uh. Like in the first sound in up. We point our fingers up while we move our hand from below our waist all the way up above your head while you say the sound. Say it with me and do the action. Uh. Good. Now, I'm going to do a motion for you, one of our short vowel motions, and I want you to tell me this, or to say the sound, okay, that matches that motion. So, I'm going to show you what sound. Ah, uh, good. Say it with me and do the motion. Ah. Uh, good. Now, let's try. Eh. Good. Do it with me. 
é What's the sound? Ah, good. Do it with me. Ah, make sure you're doing the motions and saying the sound. Ah. Ah, like an edge. Good. Do the motion with me and say the sound. Ah. Ah, good. Do it with me and say the sound. Ah, good. Now I'm going to say a sound without giving you the motion, and I want you to show me the motion. Okay? So your first short vowel sound that I'm going to give you is ah. Uh. Show me the motion. Ah, uh. good. Eh. Eh. Ah. Ah. Eh. Eh. Ah. Ah. Very nice. Now I'm going to point to my vowel letters here. Okay. And you are going to tell me to, you're going to tell me the sound it makes and show me the motion. So when I point to one of these vowel letters, I want you to show me the motion and say the sound. So if I point to this vowel letter, you're going to say ah while you show me the motion. Good, ready? Ah. Uh, and make sure you're showing me the motion and saying the sound. Eh. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Good. Let's try these one more round. Ready? Very good. Wonderful work with phonics today.